everyone and welcome to my Christmas video. Uh, today we're going to look at a, a Christmas dinner, shot Christmas dinner 2016. There were a large group of us. I bet there were, man, I think there were 40, 50 people there. It was amazing. And wonderful food and wonderful people and a lot of hard work went into it by a few people. That's usually the way it goes. But it turned out superbly. It just turned out so well. I, it, was, uh, it was really, really great. We all enjoyed it. We all had fun. Uh, first, I'll show you a few photographs from a uh, bonfire we had last night on uh, Christmas Eve and then the dinner. And uh, I hope you enjoy seeing it and it just inspires you to think, wow, I could be there. There's nothing special about these people. None of us have hardly any money. We're all just living uh, average, normal people living, uh, you know, just like you are. We're no different than you are. We've just gotten rid of our expectations and decided to live life uh, at its best and its fullest, even if it meant we had to do with a little bit less of what we normally think of as creature comforts. We can do live without those for the peace of mind and the freedom that living on wheels gives us. So I hope you enjoy the video and you like seeing people having fun and having a good time and community and tribe. There's a tribe here waiting for you. So come and join us and you too can find a tribe where it's all for one and one for all. So see you soon. So everyone, welcome to the Christmas edition of Rubber Tramp Rendezvous. This is early. This isn't the actual Rubber Tramp Rendezvous. But this is a gathering for Christmas at Ehrenberg. Uh, Ehrenberg is a camp we stay at because there's no ranger enforcement. And there is a huge group of people here, you can see. Just a really large group of people. And we got food cooking here, kebabs. And uh, over here, we've got a huge plate of a uh, couple of tables of desserts and things going on. And I'm being talked to while I'm videoing. Huh? Okay. <laughs> so here we are. Dueling camcorders. That's Carolyn from Carolyn's RV Life, the queen of YouTube. And you also notice all the variety of rigs here. Just every kind of different vehicle. People in cars, Priuses, vans, SUVs. Say hi, Bob. Hi. <laughs> what, you wave at my crowd. <laughs> so Scott, uh, what you got? What you eating there? Eating ham, beans, and some stuffed pasta of some sort. I think. Very good looking meal there. Yes. So are you all lonely and sad this Christmas because you can't find any friends? No, not at all. That's not a problem for no, you. Not a problem at oh. all. So there's uh, plenty of people out here. Yes, there is. And you're full timing now in a road trek. From since May. Good for you. Yep. And love every minute of it. Good for you. And not lonely. <laughs> not lonely. That's the key. So say hi, everybody. Say hi to the camera. Hi, everybody. Merry Christmas. And tell us your names. I'm Deborah. Justin. Justin. And David. So you're sad and lonely Christmas at this Christmas time? Nope. nope. It's, our, it's our anniversary. We met this time, this day, uh, last year, here at, uh, out in the desert because of Bob's site. Yep. And so you've got almost exactly a year, and how long have you been doing this, Justin? Uh, on and off for most of my life. Most but, uh, of my life. Four years solid. And David, you've been a, a year or more, haven't uh, you? Over a year and a half now. Yeah. And you're in a travel trailer, mm -hmm. and you guys are a couple in a van. We are. Which is kind of hard to do. Yeah, the standard wheelbase van. And um, 
It's not crowded. <laughs> well, it or not. It's a, that is hard to believe. I, I don't know how it's not crowded with all of our, both of our stuff. But it's been nice. Very good. Been nice. Well, thank you for visiting with us. This is my second year out here in the desert with this wonderful group. And tell us your name. Uh, my name's Diane. And how long have you been out here? Uh, almost two years, full timing. And you know what? You don't have to be alone out here. You can be as lone as you want, but you're never alone or lonely. It's wonderful out here. In fact, uh, sometimes you may have too many people. Oh, that can happen. That can happen. <laughs> Might have to get off alone by yourself sometimes. Uh, yes, indeed. And sometimes we won't leave a forwarding address, but right. then we, but then we come back in and to these wonderful get-togethers, and it's just, it's just, it's nice. Well, now, aren't you uh, really sad by living in the desert and the dry sand and no water anywhere, nothing green? Isn't that a problem? Oh, oh for gosh sakes! You know, life is what you make of it. Yeah, it's kind of nice to be at the ocean or all the green. But the desert has so much life that you don't even realize is going on. And you see a whole lot more green yeah. than you realize. Well, now I was actually kind of teasing because you're sitting on top of the Colorado River. Oh, yes, <laughs> right. yes, you, yes. you got more okay. water than you can know what to yes. do with. Okay, <laughs> me and a few other people, we call ourselves river rats because uh, as nice as the desert is here, uh, some people just prefer the water. And as the raven flies, a few miles away is the Colorado River. And it only takes 20 minutes to get here from where we are. Of course, it's about three and a half miles if we were able to go straight through. But, you know, we come here and plus people come over to our encampment too. Yeah, so yeah, we're in, we're in some real, oh my gosh, the other morning, a bobcat walked through our camp. Wow, that doesn't oh. happen very often. It was just incredible. It just kind of walked through, looked around, and went up on the road and sauntered on. It was around 8.30 in the morning. There's Super. so many gifts out here that you can be given. You just have to look for them. Thank you. You're welcome. What's in there? Wow, corn on the cob. I hear that. I bet you do. Yeah. And the part of the TV is that it's not white. That's great. So again, folks, this is Christmas in the Desert Nomad style. I just heard someone say that, and I'm going to steal it. <laughs> this is how nomads meet in the desert and have Christmas, just like this. Couple... Merry Christmas. A <laughs> <laughs> couple people decide to organize it and make it happen, and there we go. Thank you.